Today's Wednesday, it's the 26th of July 2023 and uh, we're on our travels again, so we're at the airport. Uh, before we do that, just happy birthday to Stephanie and Ian. Uh, hope you have a great day. Uh, we're just going to now check in and uh, get off to the airport, to the plane. Happy travels! We don't usually come to this side of the airport, but uh, we usually go to the far end. Uh, this end actually has got a little play park for the children. Quite nice. But what we have to do now is, well, we normally would check up there to see our flights on there, and it is, we're off to Manchester. And uh, you'd look to see what uh, counter you've got to check in at and uh, walk your way down to that particular counter. We don't have any check-in baggage today. We've just got to carry on back, so we can go straight up to the uh, security area, which is up the escalator and we're right at the end so we, we get right to the uh, security. Peter's just had a, a new case for this trip. Hello. So up the escalator we go, when we get to the top we'll get to security and uh, you're not allowed to film in security so I'll have to switch the uh, camera off. Uh, once we get through security we should be into the duty free area. Just have a look to see how busy it is. We've got plenty of time and I do recommend you get to the airport early because the queues can be quite long. It doesn't seem to be too bad today. And there is a, a coffee bar on this side if you need to have a coffee before you venture through. So all you need here is your boarding pass and they'll accept the one that's on the uh, phone. So camera off and uh, we'll attempt to get through security. Well there was a bit of a queue but it was fairly painless getting through the security. Uh, I got swabbed, That's the last couple of times now I've been swabbed uh, but other than that nothing else and uh, I needed to have to take her shoes off this time so good for her. So if you have got duty free you can board here uh, you need to go and pay for them there and you need your boarding pass with you. I tend to find things here are uh, actually more expensive than you find uh, elsewhere in, in New York. So wherever you're on holiday, the practical prices, uh, you might find that they're cheaper there. So once you're through, let's uh, look at the next board and find where, which terminal you're going to, you're going to go from. And uh, because we're going to the UK, uh, it's this time of the year, it's Terminal A. So we'll look up for our flight isn't even on there, but I know we're going from Terminal A. So uh, we can head off in that direction. Lots of places you can buy food and drink here, uh, and other things as well, of course. But uh, once you get to the, your terminal, Terminal A, which, or whichever one it is, you'll find there are more coffee bars there as well. So we get to this point, you can see. Terminal A is off to the right, Terminal B you're unlikely to be going to unless you're going to the Menorca or Ibiza and Terminal C and D you might use them at other times of the year. So uh, we're going off around this way. letters that Anita's been buying. In fact, they're in one of the cases, I think. I'm sure they're probably cheaper at the market or a shop. And uh, this is where we are heading. Well, we went through the passport control, uh, not really any problem at all, other than she stamped my passport. Uh, she didn't actually look at my TIE card, and then when I told her she didn't need to stamp it, she apologised and then she's written something in it. Uh, those of you who are not residents, of course, do need to have your passport stamped. And that's all going to change next year, but uh, I'll tell you about that later. So we're into the airport and uh, we've got another duty-free shop here 
We've got cafes and bars. Hopefully we'll find somewhere to sit. Our flight is not quite on the board yet. We've got plenty of time. Let's hope Anita doesn't lose her phone this time. Promise. <laughs> Well, Anita's gone off in search of coffee and whatever else she can find. Uh, in the meantime, I'll tell you a little bit about the uh, plans for next year. Uh, and the plan is the Etias is going to come in. Uh, lots of reports are referring to this as a visa. It's not a visa. Visas are complicated to obtain, lots of checks and expensive. ETIAS is a visa waiver, it means you don't need a visa. Um, it's still got to be applied for and all that application is going to be done online. The cost is seven euros, so it's not a lot of money and it lasts for two years. And it's not for Spain, it's for the whole of the European Union. So it doesn't matter which country you're going to go to in Europe, you're going to need the ETIAS. Uh, when is it going to come in? Well, it was going to come in last year and then it was going to come in this year and now it is projected to come in next year. One of the big problems the European Union have is the Olympic Games which are next year in Paris and uh, I guess there's a little bit of concern that uh, you might find athletes or people coming to watch the Games who've not done their ETS form and it might get a little bit complicated and there could be teething pro troubles at the beginning. So my guess is they might not bring it in right at the beginning of the summer and bring it in at some point afterwards. There is talk of having a grace period, a period where uh, you'll be told you need it and next time you're not coming in without it or something like that, but it will eventually come in. It's not something that's new to the world, uh, America, uh, Australia, uh, New Zealand, they, 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 these are countries that have had this sort of system for a very long time and so people who've travelled further than Europe uh, will be quite used to it. And the UK, well they've got their plans for their own version of the system as well, so people from Europe are going to have to have uh, a similar visa waiver going to the UK. It's all a consequence of Brexit, of course, and uh, it's what the people in the UK voted for, so uh, looks like they're going to get it. It will add complications, um, and I'm guessing there will be the teething problems at the beginning. Uh, the Etias form is just something extra that's got to be uh, checked. I'm guessing all, all that will be will be something on your phone and it'll be scanned. You'll have a, one of these QR codes. Uh, one thing that is going to be completely different is that from next year uh, you will be fingerprinted uh, to enter Europe. But again, this isn't a, a Spain thing, it's a Europe-wide thing. Uh, so uh, you'll have your fin fingerprint uh, taken. So basically that's what it is. When I get an exact date of it coming in, I'll let you know. Well, Anita's just returned with a, a tray of goodies. I can see the coffees there and some little baguettes or something and uh, look forward to that. So that's our breakfast. We did arrive early and so we did have the intention of having some breakfast at the airport. Well I've opened my little package here and Anita's got me a jamon and cheese baguette and what have you had here? A uh, Caesar salad. A Caesar salad and a baguette. And then we've got the two coffees. Things are at a premium when you come to the airport so the bill for this is 23 euros uh, they, these little baguettes are 8 euros something each so uh, 8 euros 50 uh, and each was only 6.95 coffees 8.40 yeah you're gonna pay a little bit more for whatever you have uh, but uh, that's it you don't really have much of a choice when you get to the airport uh, something quite exciting that's happened this year is that we now have a, a regular flight to the United States. Uh, it runs during the summer and it flies into New York's Newark Airport. And uh, well, we're starting to see a lot more American tourists here. Well, the flight from Newark has just arrived and the passengers have got off and the new passengers are about to get on. So it's a United flight direct from Newark in New York, America, and uh, looks like they're going to be loading up the new passengers and uh, new apps that they provide the food. Uh, 
quite a long journey back to the States. Well, I hope they had all a great time in, uh, in Mallorca and uh, I guess we're going to see a lot more of them in the future. Well, so far so good. Uh, we've just uh, got through the next stage and uh, we're waiting to go and find our aeroplane. So that's not it, um, that's not it, so I'm guessing actually we're going to have to catch a bus. Just while we're waiting to go across to the plane, just looking at the building work here, it's steadily making progress. Well, we're all boarded and uh, we're actually in row three, so we're quite near the front. Well, that's us arrived in Manchester, all safe and sound, not too much trouble getting off, uh, not much of a queue actually to get through the passport control, Very quiet. Um, the e-gates worked, although there was only about two or three of them that were actually open, uh, and a couple of them looked as though they were being repaired. But anyway, we're, uh, we're here, we're in, we're in the UK, and uh, we've got the next part of our journey, which is by train.